that whole new thing of bundles, I can. Oh, listen, I'm talking too much. I think I go. You can't tell me these aren't fire. Like. My man will come when he comes and he's gonna accept me as I am. Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. If you are new, first of all, <laughs> let me wet my face because I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> I was just trying out, first of all, all right, if you are new, my name is Sharielle. Hi. <laughs> Um, I was just trying on a bunch of clothes um, because if you didn't watch my last vlog, my last two vlogs, I um, went thrifting and I haven't really been able to style anything because I want to make sure my stuff is washed <laughs> before I wear it. So I finally did laundry um, and I did a video on TikTok. People were wanting me to style it. So I just did another TikTok video of me styling some of them. But um, I used my camera. That's why I didn't like vlog what I was doing because uh, I didn't want to use my phone because the as you can see the lighting is going down and yeah started late i was really tired today is wednesday um my room is a tornado right now because i was just trying to try like i'm in my phase right now where i'm just figuring out what my personal style is and i kind of know what it is it's like it's casual for sure in neutrals but it's between like sometimes i could go really tight like really hoochie mama, well not hoochie mama, but like like a black, a nice fitted black dress or like a fitted skirt or a short skirt and a, a, a crop top or something like that. Like I'll, I'll wear stuff like that, but it's always in a neutral. It's like a neutral, oh my God, I need a like thinner that you see. It's a neutral color, it's like in the neutral family, whatever, what I'm trying to say. Or I'll wear like really big clothes. Like right now I have this really big oversized shirt on that I thrifted. Or I'll wear like really big cargos that I have. Or just big oversized pants like Aaliyah type outfits or something like that. So I'm just trying to experiment with different things. And like put different things together. Like um, not always wear sneakers with cargos. Maybe wear like some heels or like some pointed shoes or something that just wouldn't match but it goes together you know what i'm saying like i don't want to be too matchy matchy like on brand like oh you know this and this and this goes together i want to like i see these people all the time on pinterest and in tiktok and they just do it so effortlessly and i feel like i can do it but i just don't want to make do it in the way that i'm like trying too hard so I'm trying to like flow and just find what works for me, what works for my body type. Because not everything works for my body type, not everything works for everybody's, you know, everybody's different. So I kind of want to, I'm just been experimenting with that. Like I don't want to do too much, but I want to also like not be a basic bitch, but I, or like following trends, but I want to be stylish you know what i'm saying like i know how to i know how to dress <laughs> this is niggas and, like i know how to dress i just want to put a little bit more oomph to it a little bit more pizzazz a little bit more like style into it like oh that okay that i fucks with that heart you know how you look at like new york new york street fashion you ever look at new york street fashion they'd be wearing any and everything but you know a lot of those people that's their personal style like they just throw it on and that's them they're gonna rock it a lot of times it has to do with confidence yes 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 but <laughs> that's just, that's where I'm trying to get to too like making sure that I know that I can pull these certain things off you get what I'm saying like so I'm gonna keep buying pieces like this or thrifting pieces like this because I know I can rock like I can make this into anything like anything I wear with this could be fire you know what I'm saying okay okay anyways <laughs> I say all that to say that I was doing a video and I was styling things and I feel like I liked the stuff that I came but I have to rewatch it but when I was looking in the mirror I liked it but um i did get these fire ass boots from pretty little thing if you were looking at my last vlog as well again <laughs> i told you that i was getting some things from pretty little thing and um one of the shipments it, it separated into two which is so annoying but one of the shipments came in and my boots were in there and i didn't think they were gonna fit because i'm a size 11 and i'm six feet babe so you know baby girl if you have big feet you know <laughs> um but these babies came in and when i tell you 
I was so excited and they freaking fit. Like, I'm about to try them on right now and get them. So, I'm like, <laughs> don't mind my actually uh, knees if you see it, but. You cannot, hold on. It's not bright enough for me. It's not bright enough for me. You can't tell me these aren't fire. Like, come on. These are so fire. <laughs> Like the fact that they fit, I already know they're probably gonna slip down a little bit, probably to like right here, cause already. But I'm cool. Like I don't need it to be all the way up here. As long as it went up to my knee, that's all I cared about. <laughs> cause I know I'm tall. I know how that goes. So, but like the fact that it just fits. But let me put the other one out. Hold on, hold on. Like, come on. Like even what I have on right now is a fit for this. But you can make this work with so many things. This is perfect. Like these are these are what I needed for fall that's coming up. I mean, well, for us it's more in like November. <laughs> November, December. But but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Like this is so beautiful. They're comfortable too. Like the only issue that I may have is like if I wear these without socks, they're gonna hurt a little bit right here. But I'm gonna wear them with socks because I just don't like wearing boots without socks because my feet sweat and everything, whatever. But they're really comfortable. I just know when I break these in, they're gonna be my go-to boot. This is the aftermath. <laughs> these are all clothes. First of all, this is laundry. I just, I just have to fold because those are, yeah. But these were just, yeah. We're just playing with shoes down here. Oh, I got these, these loafers. Hold on. There we go. These loafers, they're the backless ones, well, flats, whatever they're called. But I think these are so freaking cute. And you can just, this is what I mean. Like, I wanna wear this with, I think one of the videos was like this with like cargo pants. And you know, stuff like this, I wanna just experiment, like maybe wear these with socks and see how that looks with an outfit. You know, just do different, different stuff. I love these, it's so freaking cute. I'm gonna put this light on because you can't see nothing in here. That's too much. <laughs> Every time I have that light on, I feel like I'm doing too much, but hey. Hey, what else? I am currently making a wrap, and I've been obsessed with this wrap. So I use Chick fil A sauce. When I tell you, I don't know what's going on, but like, I'm. <laughs> That's why I like, oh God. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with Chick-fil-A sauce right now. Um, I don't have it all the time. Not all the time, but like certain days, I just want a Chick-fil-A wrap or like put French fry, like make some French fries and then just do Chick-fil-A instead of actually going to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but I've been putting spinach and um i have this big chicken that i made yesterday well not big chicken it's what is it chicken thighs that i made i didn't bake it i made it on the stove it some big chicken. um and then i put some cheese on it and then i put a little more sauce on top listen 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 why do i feel high right now i feel so high I think it's just because I'm tired. I'm really tired. I tried to take a nap and I only took a nap for like an hour. And I was supposed to go somewhere tonight and then I was like, absolutely not. I need to wash my hair, but that's looking like, but it's like, if I don't wash my hair now, <laughs> this is how I have to plan it in my head. If I don't wash my hair today, I have work tomorrow night. So that means I would have to wash because I have work tomorrow, I have work Friday, and I have work um, Saturday. So that means I can't wash it at night until Sunday. But I can do it during the day, maybe like on Friday. But I'm probably not going to want to do that. So like, I just always have to think ahead when it comes to my hair. I really think I'm just going to buy bundles for real for real but I'm still I'm kind of stuck between do I want curly bundles or do I want straight bundles I feel like I just want curly because 
I know me, I'm not going to want to straighten it. I go to the gym so much that I'm really not going to want to straighten my um, leave out at all. <laughs> it's going to piss me off and I, I just know how I am. So I think I'm just going to get curly bundles. But then I might just get curly clip-ins. But I just don't want to deal with the clip. Like, oh, <laughs> you see what my dilemma is? Like, if I'm going to spend that money, I want to make sure I get what I want. And the only reason why I'm thinking about clipping is because I feel like people are not going to, like, I'm in L.A. So to find a person who's really going to do, mm, I just love that sock. Mm. Finding somebody who's really going to do a sew-in, a traditional sew-in for like a hundred, two hundred dollars is not ideal out here. Like they charge in like four or five hundred dollars. Four or five hundred dollars and just for a damn sewing. Like what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't even get sewings and I know damn well they're not supposed to be that much money. So um, I gotta figure out. I know you. Support, I know people are telling me to check like L.A. like real in inner city L.A. like um, Inglewood and stuff like that. But I don't know. Like I'm not from here, so I need I need to go with somebody who's from here who knows the spots. I'm not just trying to nah. <laughs> like you, you just never know. I just feel like you never know. I'm not trying to get um, like in an area I'm not supposed to be in or something like LA is different it's different you just stay where you know <laughs> oh no but um yeah look at this I don't even know where I was going because now I'm excited to eat mm. Mm. sometimes I put some sauce on a plate and put it to the side and dip it in there too yeah <laughs> but yeah i'm really thinking about a sewing i think i might just do curly because i really just want a curly one but i don't like i've never gotten a sewing before so people say sometimes it itches and da 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 no no like for braids i can only have them babies in for like four weeks that's the maximum i can have them in and then my head is i know you can wash your hair with sewing and everything but my head like laying on stuff that's not my scalp pisses me off after a certain point so i don't want to get it done and then i'm end up taking it out mad soon you know what i'm saying so i low-key just might just get clippings so i can wear like you can do so much with clippings i could just throw them in whenever i want to or i can um if i want to put in like a bun i can hide the clips i know i know there's ways that you can put it upside down and stuff to Put your hair up in a ponytail or whatever so i might just get clippings i could straighten them if i want to and um somebody told me that they take the clips out if they have like a um a band because some of them have like a really thick band where you can't sew them in but some of them have the weft where you can sew them in so you can take the clip off and use that and i'm like yeah i might get that you know you could use it for a bow Oh, if I ever did want to sew in, I don't have to worry about having to buy a whole new thing of bundles. I can. Oh, listen, I'm talking too much. <laughs> I think I'm cold. Somebody's outside, like doing a horn or some shit, like a clown horn. Anyways, I'm that eater who hates when their food gets cold so i eat really fast and then i'm just looking at my date or whoever i'm with that's eating just like are you done like can you hurry up <laughs> i'm not the person who sits there and enjoys their food like my best friend she's sister she enjoys her food she takes her time with it then she has another like course then she has coffee after like she likes to be at dinner chilling i get to dinner and i'm like <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can stay for some drinks, but any more food, I'm good. I just need to eat my food right when it's hot, right when it's there. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know if I'll be back tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know.
<laughs> okay, so it is Thursday. I was deep conditioning my hair. That's the little clip that you've seen. <laughs> um, I was deep conditioning it with the blow dryer over the head thingy majigger. I haven't used that in a minute. And I was like, I need to start taking care of my freaking hair. <laughs> so I was like, let me deep condition it. I actually was going to make a whole recipe. I was going to try to do Cardi B's recipe. But I think I needed, I was missing one thing and I forgot what it was. And low key, I've been lazy. <laughs> I don't want to blend nothing up. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I swear, I got to get over this laziness of mine. It's just... It's getting out of hand because I'm never going to be in the place that I want to be if I keep having this mentality of always being this damn lazy. Oh my God. But like, it's not all the time. It's just like I have those days where I'm like, absolutely not. I'm doing the bare minimum and you cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, so my hair is still drying. It's curled a little bit. Um yeah i'm trying to get my hair back together it's just it's just been not it i told i've had this discussion multiple times <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna stop talking about my hair i'm done talking about it um but yeah i just know i'm on a hair journey and you're either gonna see oh my god i thought that was a bug that's my hair <laughs> you're either gonna see me take care of my hair and it flourish or you're gonna see me with a sewing or some clippings one of those who knows? Who knows what route I'm about to go on. But lately I've been doing this natural look because my skin has been looking decent. Because I've actually been doing my skincare routine. <laughs> See what happens when I'm not lazy? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've just been putting on concealer. Which I used to do this all the time before I got into the habit of like doing a full face every time I left the house. Um like a full when well I have a foundation but you know what I mean powder all of that just going out loud like I couldn't put on concealer without just doing it all I just had to put concealer everywhere like it was foundation and then do the highlight and da 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 da, da. so I'm slowly stepping away from that I'm gonna still do that for work but I'm going to work right now I actually but today I don't feel like doing that even during the day I was like why am I doing the most with is he it was either I'm not wearing makeup at all or I was doing a whole entire face. And I don't want to do that anymore. But I don't think I'm leaving my hair like this. I might put on this scarf and tie it right here and just have my curls out. But it all depends on how my face looks after and I'll decide what I want to do. But I just got this again, this NYX Bear With Me Prime and Setting Spray. I used to use this all the time. like. Well, that wasn't even on my face. <laughs> there we go. I used to use this all the time and I don't know why I stopped buying it. I just stopped buying setting sprays in general because I started wearing powders, but like that don't make no sense. I don't make sense sometimes. Like if I'm, if I'm wearing powders, I should be buying setting spray, right? It just don't make no sense. I don't be making sense but <laughs> um i also got this nyx the bro the brow glue in dark brown and it's okay i just feel like it should be more tinted like it has its tint but i don't feel like it's tinted enough for me i feel like i have to put on a bunch of coats just to see a difference in the tint one thing i hate about this camera is that it switches colors so like if this is more in the frame it'll go more green but once this comes out the frame it'll go back to its normal color and then like if a if like a pink or a blush comes in the frame it'll start going to more pink it pisses me off and I, I i heard that only sony does that because my canon never did that it was always on point the color was always on point but i just didn't like the quality i like sony's quality way better but it always goes to a green first and then it will adjust its color or something like that and I just don't know I don't know how to really fix that I know you have to get like a gray card and stuff but I don't feel like that's necessary for what I do that's why I don't do it because I don't I don't have like a 
a setup where I do a whole beauty like a nice beauty background and I do my makeup and I don't I don't I'm not that that type of youtuber so I don't know maybe when I get another apartment and I figure out the lighting and everything in there then I'll get another camera or figure out how to fix it or something like that I don't know but I do want to upgrade see it goes to green I don't know if that's doing that right now whatever okay why do I feel like this is bright it's too bright now is this too dark whatever I'll just keep it like that um so also 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 when it comes to filling in my eyebrows I have not been wanting to do too much anymore I'm kind of vibing with the thinner eyebrows like not too thin because I know how we could get when it's really thin trust me my eyebrows were beyond thin every time I look at high school pictures I'm like what what were we thinking how was this the vibe how was this cute and I remember they tried to bring that back oh people try to bring that back on TikTok and I was like I'm not do it because I'm not I mean y'all can bring it back if you want I'm not doing it I'm not doing it at all um <laughs> But I like how it's been looking right here. Like I'll fill in the gaps in a little bit in the front, but I don't feel like I want to do too much like the thickness in it because I could get carried away. And lately I feel like I've been getting carried away and it just doesn't look right on me. But um, I'm just jumping ahead. This is the, from the Lancome package that I got, the PR package that I got last week in my last vlog. Again, check that out. <laughs> um, I got this this is what i was talking about the lancome curls or it says sand styles sales booster sales booster i don't know but it is a white mascara and this has been making a difference in my lashes oh and i'm a lash girl once i get good lashes i'm good like my whole entire i don't even have to wear makeup if i have great lashes so you just put it on your eyes like that look at how much that i don't know if you could see but look at how much that boosts my lashes already boom and that's two coats of this so i'm gonna do one more this would be a dope um halloween look like white lashes with like maybe a white wing a white wing <laughs> a white wing <laughs> and then um you know some black lipstick that would be a dope a dope little look but um yeah i let that dry for like a little tiny bit and i kind of wanted to try i still have my box i haven't tried everything in there but i do want to try is this the liner oh my god where's the color okay i'm gonna try this and see wait i like this hold on okay it definitely gives off hair like strokes i'm just trying to fill in all the gaps that i have that piss me off Okay, see, that's going to be the tricky part. I'm just going to not even try to do the hair, like, in the front because I know I'm going to mess that up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Where is my brush? Uh, maybe I could get away with it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's test myself. All right, you see? I was doing too much. Look at that. actually that looks kind of natural or am i tripping okay 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 Let's try the other side hold on oh yes i like this i really really like this that might be a little too bold but I don't know 
How is it looking? Is it looking good? I feel like it's looking good from the... Every time I look on the camera, it looks different from when I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I like this. Once I, I'm sure I'm going to get the hang of it soon. But for my first time, I really like this. It doesn't look fake at all. It looks really natural, like really natural hairs. But I know I'm going to need to get the front together because um, I don't feel like I did the best in the front. But I want them to look a little bit more natural now. Like I just don't want that whole always put together brow if that makes sense. So now I'm using the mascara which I've been loving this mascara. It's just the wand is so pretty. Oh, look at already. Hold on. That's just one coat. And yes, I have naturally long lashes, but I noticed like you can you know the difference when you use mascara. You know how your lashes look with certain mascaras and this mascara has been making my lashes 10 times better and i've used this without the white um the white plumping stuff or booster stuff whatever it's called and i've definitely noticed a difference with that as well okay i don't know how i'm gonna tie this i don't even know if i want to put a scarf on honestly but i feel like i should just <laughs> no wait I'm gonna put it this way I got this scarf from the beauty supply store and it's very silky like it's a little too silky for me I need more of a satin because it doesn't it doesn't move around too much and this silk one moves around a little too much for me I don't know how I'm gonna tie this though. All right, I made it into a, it would be helpful if I had a mirror. That'd be great. Now I should just, I feel like this is gonna come off during my shift. Like I kind of want it like that, but this knot is too thick. Trying to figure out a way to make this knot not so thick. How do I? Okay, that's a little vibey. That's a little. That's cute. That's cute. I guess. Do I mind my ears out? Yeah, I'm gonna put on mascara anyway. I mean, not mascara, earrings anyways. But let me get myself together and I'll be back because I definitely don't want to be late. <laughs> right. I tied my hair like this, but it is what it is. I honestly don't like top knots anymore. Well, not top knots, top buns anymore. Because they just, I'm just, you know, you go through those phases where you're like, oh, this looks cute on me, and this looks cute on me, whatever. I just don't think this looks cute on me. But I also don't want to mess up my curls. So I don't care. And it's Thursday. I'm trying to talk while I do this. <laughs> it's Thursday and there there ain't nobody there cute anyway, so it's like I'm not trying to impress I mean, I don't try to impress anybody anyways, but certain nights you never know who's gonna be there. So I just like to look cute anyways, regardless. But yeah, I, I don't want to mess up my curls. So, and like the edges, the front of my hair was looking a little janky because I don't want to put gel in it right now. I don't put gel until after like my curls are all out, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. Whatever, it is what it is. Ain't got nobody impressed.
my man will come when he comes and he's gonna accept me as I am. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> I just wanted to pop on here and say that it is um, the next day. What is today, Friday? Yeah, Friday. I always get mixed up when I work on a Thursday because I barely ever work on a Thursday. So I'm thinking it's Friday. <laughs> so today's Friday, I do have work tonight, but I woke up this morning First of all, I didn't go to bed until about four or five in the morning, but I woke up this morning like, I don't feel like doing anything. So I'm just popping on here to show you that I'm doing nothing <laughs> in my bed today. <laughs> I did a little bit of work on my phone, like some videos editing, but other than that, <laughs> this is where I'm staying so <laughs> Anyways, my battery just died, but, oh, excuse me. I do for sure need to do my nails, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna take my polish off and, cause I don't wanna put acrylic on it right now. I mean, not acrylic, Um, the press on, the glue. I don't wanna put, first of all, this is very raw, me in raw form. I put a freaking uh, video of what I look like in the morning on, on Instagram of just like my hair was just a mess that's before I even washed it and I had my glasses on and people were like I wouldn't mind waking up to that every day like you look like a dork but I love it da, da, da. like I was still hit and I'm just looking at the cop I mean at the DMs like y'all need help <laughs> y'all need some serious help but yes I know I got some thick ass frames I don't want to hear it like I have bifocal ass looking <laughs> glasses I'm blind I don't care um yeah I don't care I don't mind when I look like this because I know what I look like now you know what I'm saying like I'm more secure with my with my face that yeah, sometimes I'll point out little things and I'm like oh my god I look crazy da, da, da. but like I don't mind being on camera looking like that if that makes sense like 99% of the time well yeah like 90% of my vlogs I don't have makeup on I'm just chilling. I either, well, I definitely have my contacts in. I usually never wear my glasses, but <laughs> I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. Um, is my nose running? I don't know. Anyways. But yeah, so I think I'm just going to take my polish off and just put on a clear coat for now because I don't feel like doing my actual, like putting the glue on and everything because I'm still trying to make my, my, um, from the last time I did it, I think I just took them off a little too soon or I just didn't soak them off good enough. I like ripped them off. Yeah, the last the last set I ripped them off. So it made my nail beds really thin, but usually I'll soak them off and it's, it's fine. It's not bad. So I'm trying to let that grow out a little bit and the skin around my freaking nails are like, I don't know what's going on I think it's the vitamins I'm not taking my vitamins like even my energy levels right now are not that high but yeah hey y'all so it's Saturday um I just came to the Glendale not the Americana the Galleria this is like a mall I guess I've never been here before but I was like I kind of need like little shirts from um Zara I seen they had a Zara and I seen they had a Target and then I seen they had like a shoe palace or whatever. So I just want to look at little things like I need little basic tops. Um, and I know Zara always has really good quality, like really good quality basic white tees or black tanks or whatever, like similar to what I have on right now. Um, Cause my other one is this dingy, my white one. <laughs> um, and then I want to just look at like shoes. I want to just see what they have in here. I don't know. The parking lot itself was packed. So I'm actually already mad. <laughs> I don't know what made me decide to come on a Saturday, but like I had nothing else to do and I feel like I needed to get out the house. I've been in the house for two days straight um, other than work. And um, yeah, I'm very hungry. I think maybe that's why I'm so aggravated right now. I was just driving around in circles trying to freaking find a parking lot because there's so many damn people, but I'm hungry as shit. So, Food court first, <laughs> and I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna be able to vlog because, um, yeah. And I and I seen that they had a Target, so I was like, yeah, for sure. Let me bang out a bunch of uh, a bunch of stores in one, and we'll see. 
And if I have time, I might go to Goodwill because there's a Goodwill down the street. Oh, I told you. I might my kick, my thrifting kick. I was supposed to be saving money too, but look at look at where we're at. <laughs> Never again am I coming on a Saturday. Like, it's been traffic for like 10 minutes just trying to get out this bitch. Cause people, look at this. Like, what are you doing? There's nobody in front of you. <laughs> it's hella bright, but that's a Ross over there. And I did not know that this whole shit was like low key connected. It's a home goods right there. Oh my God, I need to come on a day. I'm gonna come on a weekday because there's mad shit to do over here. And then there's an Americana over there on that side and I don't know what's in there it was just way too many people for me to like really explore but I'm mad there's a five below I love a five below oh my god um I will not be going on a weekend ever again because like this is I thought LA well where I'm at is really congested but this area is ridiculous I don't know why everybody named moms is outside but that's what it is and it's 90 degrees right now and i was hot as hell in those damn stores i was like what where there's no heat i mean there's no ac or there was just too many people like even target i couldn't even enjoy myself because i enjoy myself every time i go to target <laughs> in the mall in general like i always just like to chill and enjoy myself but it was so packed in there and in Target, it was like, it was messy as hell. It was just too much. Like it was, it was low, low key giving me anxiety. I was like, let me just get in and get out. I was trying to stroll and look at, like I didn't even go to the candle section. <laughs> like I always do. I didn't go to the mugs. Like I always do. Like I didn't do any of that. I went to the shoe aisle and whatever and try to stroll down where the um, clothes were a little bit. Um, I know I needed some stuff too, but I also have to go to Walmart tomorrow, so I'm like, I'm not even about to, I mean, on Monday, so I'm like, I'm not even about to do all that. But, um, literally I just got all out of all that congestion. It was so, <sighs> I never realized how bad my anxiety is sometimes until I'm around a big ass crowd. And that, that are just like, no one knows how to say fucking excuse me. There's kids running around. It's just. Uh, I love that my face is um, RBF sometimes like I love when I have the RBF sometimes because it just makes people not want to approach me and I'm like thank you please leave me the fuck alone because <laughs> some people were staring at me some people were trying to talk to me and I'm just like please leave me alone please so I'm heading to a Goodwill hopefully this one isn't really packed it's like I'm already up here and it was like five minutes or no I lied well I'm five minutes away now but it was about come on It was about um, nine minutes away from over there. But like I said, I seen all the other stores. Like I seen Ross and Home Goods and shit. And man, listen, I'm gonna come on a Tuesday 
a random ass Tuesday or a Wednesday when everybody's working, maybe like 10, 11 o'clock and just have a great, I bet you there's gonna be hella people still. Like for some reason, no one in LA has a day job <laughs> and I'm talking cause I don't have a day job either, but <laughs> um, everybody's always at stores, but during the week it's way better to go to stores than the weekend. So I think I'm gonna um, enjoy my time, maybe like next week or something like that. Because I got excited as hell when I seen them stores. I'm like, damn, man. But all those people, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm all set. I'm all set. I don't want to be around all these people. Um, I low-key want a drink. Like a really, not a sweet drink, but kind of like a milkshake. Or I was thinking of coffee, but I definitely don't want coffee. But honestly, I might get some coffee because I have work. I should have got some. There was a Dunkin' in there, too. And a Starbucks whatever i'm gonna see what i can find um, oh but i have work tonight and it's already 4 30 and i don't think i'm gonna take a nap <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna have any time to take a nap because now i'm about to go to another store it's my fault because i woke up late but whatever to all the ladies in the place with style and grace allow me to lace these lyrical dishes in your bushes who rock grooves and make moves with all the mommy the back of the club, sipping my wet is where you find me. The back of the club, macking holes, my crew's behind me. Mad question asking, blunt passing, music blasting. But I just can't quit because one of these honeys Biggie got to creep with, sleep with, keep the epic secret. Why not? Why blow up my spot? Cause we both got hot. Now check it, I got more Mac than Craig and in the bed. Believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy. No need to be greedy. I got mad friends with Benz and C notes by the layers. True fucking players. Jump in the rover and come over. Tell your friends, jump in the GS3. I got the chronic by the tree. the bar around two plans to leave throw the keys to little c's pull the truck up front and roll up the next brunch so we can steam on the way to the telly go fill my belly a t-bone steak cheese eggs and welch's grape conversate for a few cause in a few we gon' do what we came to do ain't that right boo forget the telly we just go to the crib and watch a movie in the jacuzzi smoke l's while you do me Okay, I just got home. I'm a little hot because it was hot outside. It still is hot outside and it's like um, 7 o'clock now <laughs> and it's still hot out. I think we're supposed to be getting a heat wave coming soon. So that means I'm going to be in the house. <laughs> per usual, I'm going to go to the gym and come back to the house. But I did get a few things, a few good things, I feel like. Well, good amount of t-shirts because I've been telling y'all I've been looking for t-shirts so I got this t-shirt so the green tag was 50% off today I didn't find a lot of green tags I feel like they do that shit on purpose when they say it's 50% off and they don't they don't put a lot of the colored tags out that's supposed to be 50% you know what I'm saying so I got this shirt I don't even know what this is not even gonna lie but it looked cool <laughs> to me <laughs> a big black you know basic t-shirt for the gym or whatever i just been looking for a bunch of t-shirts honestly it don't even seem like anybody wore this before it still got the the crinkles like the folded crinkles that makes sense <laughs> then i got this white shirt this plain white shirt this was a yellow tag but it was 3.99 or no this was 5.99 okay all right that's a little <laughs> but it's thick it's really thick and it's big and it's plain and I need a, a good, thick, plain t-shirt that's big. So this one was uh, 2XL. Love me a good big tee. 
And then I got this one. This was an Arrow, no, this was American Eagle shirt. Yeah, American Eagle shirt. But I like it because it's like a cream oatmeal-y color. And this is, this was $3.99 and it was the yellow tag, it wasn't green. But it was $3.99, so I'll take it. And then I got this bag ended up getting this bag it's, it's actually a sweater material and I kind of like how it doesn't look dingy but it looks like it looks worn but this part doesn't look all beat up and worn so that's why I got it it's really comfortable like I, I just wanted a really big bag that could go with anything I have a black one and now I needed like a tan one um, so this is just like a chill a chill bag to go with whatever and then I got this. Ended up getting that. What was that? That scared me. It's not like somebody was trying to get in the window or something. Okay. <laughs> um, I got this bag. This was so freaking cute. It's like a. Uh, it it, it look, It's a little bit more maroon than it's coming up as. So it's red for sure, but it's a little bit more maroon, a little bit. But I thought this was perfect for fall. And I needed a good colored bag. I don't really have much colored bags. I stick to neutrals, as you know. <laughs> so um, I needed a good colored bag. But I got this. This one was a little, um, I think this was $7.99. Yeah, this was $7.99. I was debating because I found another one that was had the green tag, but it was lighter, a lighter color. And when I put it on, it just didn't hit the same as when I put this one on. I don't know. This one just hit, hit real nice, hit real nice. <laughs> and I recently just got these pants. Hold on, these tags are all jumbled up. I recently just got ow. Oh, I recently just got these pants, and I thought they would probably go together. I mean. No, this is this is more of a brown, a dark brown. I mean, it could actually, it really could. This and this could go together for sure. Never mind. But um, if you style it right, you gotta style it right. These are cargos I got from Pretty Little Thing. This shirt in here, like this shirt right here, just throwing everything off for me. <laughs> but I really like the material. It's nice. It doesn't wrinkle like that. That's why I like these type of shirts because I'm not sitting here ironing these shirts all the time. Absolutely not. And it pisses me off when I get off of like my car or get out of my car or whatever and my whole entire shirt is completely wrinkled. All right, then I got this shirt. What is this? This one was actually, no, this one's not green. <laughs> I, I failed at the green this time. <laughs> um, uh, this one was $3.99 though, so I was like, fuck it. And it has like a little car in the front and then it has a bigger car in the back. So, I thought this was cool. Nice big T. And then I got these jeans that I feel like I want to turn into shorts. But I made sure I got them big just to make sure. But they were actually long enough when I tried them on in the store. So let me try them on right now. But I tried them on over my pants. So let me try them on. All right. These are, let me, hold on. These are them. They're definitely way big on the waist. <laughs> I would have to cinch these in a little bit, but this one's like, all right, it's a little bit more high watery, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut these. I feel like I, yeah, this would be, this would be nice if they were cut right here at the, at the boot, I mean at the knee, maybe. I don't know, or I might keep them just like this and maybe put a belt or just wear them like this really low rise tuck them in or take them in a little bit right here just at the the hip area i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i don't know i don't know yet <laughs> but it's definitely coming down in the back <laughs> and then i got my cowboy boots now listen they were a little bit a little bit snug in the front because I had my thicker socks on. 
but I feel like if I break these in, they will be perfect. So let me take my sock off and then. So like maybe with a thinner sock. Yeah, because they're not tight at all. They're not tight at all. It's just a little, just cause it goes right here. Like it's a narrow, a pointed toe. So I'm for sure gonna have to break these in. But I thought, I couldn't, I couldn't leave the store without these. Cause 11s, listen, when they have a cute 11 boot anywhere, I'm getting it. <laughs> cause I don't have any boots. Look at it. So these are 45 and I have outfits in my mind that I can wear this with. That's why I got it. So we'll see. Don't mind my ashy knees. No man. How they do the um the line dance? <laughs> every time I have every time I have any type of boots on um that go like near my knee, I always think of the SpongeBob when he had the big old uh, boots that just look crazy. <laughs> all right, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And crazy part is, I really did not have anxiety when I was filming anything. It was just too much going on. Period. So, <laughs> all right, but that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get myself together before work. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on right now, but anyways, yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.